Martin, you tell us you've had uh, sort of a few stops and starts this season. What's it been like uh, playing that in such momentum? Uh, yeah, it's been pretty annoying not not getting a sort of a, a run and, and a flow on of things, but at the same time, it's uh, it's kept me pretty fresh and hungry to get out there. So now I'm feeling good about it. What have you been doing with the downtime? To be honest, there hasn't been a lot of downtime. I've been smashing the rehab and uh, just yeah, doing what training I can. So. Hasn't been too much downtime. White Crockett was on the radio this morning saying you're an absolute uh, beast in the gym. Anything in particular you've been doing additional? Uh, just with my shoulder niggles that I've had, I've been doing a few few extra shoulder circuits, trying to strengthen them up a bit. But uh, nah, pretty much same old. Stronger than the Frank brothers now? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe. This uh, pretty big uh, test for you guys coming up on Saturday. I mean, yeah. Is there an element of excitement, um, you know, heading into yet another sort of playoff game? Yeah, local derbies, whether they're a playoff game or not, it's always a good shindig. So, um, yeah, there's plenty of excitement around the camp, and uh, I know there's been a bit of hype around it. You know, there's one one game each for us, so uh, yeah, we're pretty hungry to get out there and uh, put our best foot forward. What do you make of um, the Canes at the moment? They've had a bit of a you know, mixed bag of form the last sort of you know few weeks. Um, you know, but they're probably a sleeping giant, and you know we know the star players they've got. So what do you sort of make of them um, you know, leading into this game? Yeah, like you say, they had a bit of a hiccup uh, in one of their last games against the Chiefs and that. But um, nah, they're always a pretty dangerous beast to play against, especially if they get things right. So uh, now nah, we'll have to be on our on our best form to you know get the win on Saturday. The forward pack in, in your guys' team is you know pretty stacked with a few All Blacks and a lot of experience there. So yeah, that must give you a lot of confidence. Um, you know going up against a well, less experienced forward pack in the Hurricanes. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if we'd put it like that, but uh, we're all, we're always pretty uh, pretty confident going into the games. Just um, we know what we can do, and uh, yeah, just looking forward to a good good battle up front. How do you think the other props have been going uh, without you in there? Yeah, Perry and Crockett, they're both, uh, they're both world-class props, so um, no, they've been doing a good job. Uh, been doing really well, actually. Um, yeah, almost feel a bit bad about it, uh, you know, taking a spot from one of them on the weekend, but I guess that's just the way that footy goes. So. You've been helping them out at all, giving them pointers and things, or in your downtime? Uh, to be fair, they're both pretty pretty on to it, but um, yeah, when there has been anything that I can help out with, um, yeah, I've been more than willing to, you know, give a hand. What are you looking forward to most about getting back out there? <laughs> Just game time, get a bit of, bit of uh, physical contact in there, uh, get a few carries, tackles, just, yeah, hit some rucks and get amongst it. What do you think is going to be hurting the most in terms of your body, even, you know, getting back into it? <laughs> Probably my lungs. <laughs> yeah, definitely my lungs, actually. Is that physical side of it quite hard? You know, coming back after having a few weeks off, it must be hard to get back out there. Yeah, definitely. Um, so you can do all the, you know, all the physical prep, uh, running, cardio, that sort of thing, but nothing quite matches up to the to match fitness. So, uh, yeah. How actually, exactly actually happened with your knee there, Joe? You know, in that game. Uh, yeah. So what what happened was. Um, I chipped off a bit of cartilage in the joint and uh, yeah, it was just floating around, getting jammed up and um, yeah, causing me a few issues, pretty painful and uh, yeah, it's just kind of worked its way out and uh, still a little bit sore now but no, nah, it's good to go. Because initially you, you tried to play on. And yeah. Came, but did you, once you were taken off, did you think, oh crikey, that might not make you back for the playoffs? Uh, I didn't really think too far ahead to be fair. Um, but uh, yeah, it wasn't very pleasant when it first happened. Um, just kept giving way on me, and uh, yeah, it had a pretty horrible sort of crunching noise to go with it as well. So um, yeah, no, I was pretty happy uh, with how it's how it's come along and how it is now. So yeah. Just a specialist say so you need a, just a clean out operation down the track or something. Like that. Uh, no, he said because it's cartilage, it gets reabsorbed by the body if it's uh, not too bad sort of thing. And otherwise, if it didn't do that, then uh, then I might have had to have get a wee keyhole surgery and get things cleaned up. But the way things are looking, um, no, I'm not going to need that. So, yeah. So you hear a grunting noise and stay. You must have been worst fear. Your initial thoughts at the time that you know it would have been quite scary. Yeah, no, it was uh, pretty off-putting. But um, like I said, like you know, I didn't really know what was going on with it. So. Um, yeah, once I sort of got the all clear from the doctors and that, that it was nothing to, you know, to worry about too much. I just sort of got on with things and, um, yeah, here we are now and it's feeling pretty good.